Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Harps and today I am going to be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville and this is season 4. It's episode 12 and it's aired on OWN TV. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe, and even share my video. And make sure you hit that notification button down below and then that way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. So as I said, I'm going to be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville season 4 episode 12. So if you guys remember last week, um, Marceau and Tisha were down in Bessemer, um, Alabama, and um, they were attended Miss Wanda's uh, pop-up uh, party because she wanted to give her family some samples from the items that she is going to be selling on her food truck. So in the interim, uh, Tisha's whole family jumps on Marceau in regards to, you know, some cheating allegations and um, also about him being in a hotel with a female up in um, Atlanta, Georgia. So anyway, Tisha and her cousin Kiki are at odds. They're, they're still not speaking because Tisha felt that uh, Kiki betrayed her when she attended Mel's um, pajama party and participated in some idle gossip in regards to her marriage and her with her and her uh, other family issues with her husband. So anyway, Miss Wanda had settled everyone down, and then in walks Kiki. Da, 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 da. So anyway, Kiki sits down and um, her and uh, Tisha have um, a discussion and um, it got pretty heated, you know, fairly uh, quickly. Um, so anyway, um, Marceau started screaming and hollering at Kiki and he was telling Kiki, you know, don't do it, don't do it because Kiki said that if um, she wanted to that she could really, you know, just blow up Tisha's spot. But Tisha's husband was yelling, don't you do it, Kiki, don't you do it, Kiki, don't you go there. And then he said, because I'll burn this whole place down. So I'm assuming that he must have um, paid for the uh, food and for the event and perhaps maybe uh, the venue. But see, here is the thing. I still don't understand why Tisha is mad at Kiki. This is the thing. Kiki said that the reason why, you know, she doesn't feel like she's so close to Tisha anymore is because Tisha had revealed some of her uh, personal business. But see, this thing, it was five years ago. So anyway, I'm still trying to figure out, as you guys probably are, what business did she share of Kiki's that had her so up in arms? I'm like, what? I mean, she used to work at a school. I mean, were you embezzling some funds from the school? I mean, are you just like a start rate? even maniac. I mean, because Tisha had told her husband, Marceau, her cousin Kiki's business. She was pillow talking with her husband. But see, here's the thing. Marceau is the one that went back and told, you know, revealed uh, Kiki's uh, personal business. And the only thing that he gave us is that he just felt that he needed to tell the present company, you know, about Kiki's situation. So I'm just wondering, you know, what could it have been that he felt that he needed to, you know, pull the host and hostess of a party that they all were at and Kiki was in attendance? What what information, you know, was so compelling that, you know, he had to reveal uh, Kiki's personal business? So, anyway, Marceau and Kiki start arguing, okay? And, um... As I said, Miss Wanda, she had uh, broke up the uh, confrontation, but before she was able to break it up, Kiki's husband, you know, he's like this really big, tall man, and he was getting ready to get at Marceau, you know, for disrespecting his wife. So, anyway, the first thing that Marceau is really quick to do when he's dealing with Tisha's family is to bring up everything that he's done for them. So, Marcel is... Marcel is new money. 
okay? You can tell that he's new money because every chance he gets, he um, tells Tisha's family, all the stuff that I've done for you, look at all the stuff that I've done for you. So Marceau is the type of person you don't even want to borrow a quarter from, you know, to put in the parking meter. So anyway, uh, next, uh, Martel, he meets up with his brand manager. Her name is Melnika, and they discuss the upcoming wine tasting in um, Atlanta because Martel has launched a wine line. And of course, Martel is sitting up there with his uh, medium sized suit on. He's always like wearing these clothes that are way too tight for him. And then he has his uh, button down shirt unbuttoned. I mean, I don't know. I guess he thinks he's sexy, but you know, he's all right. So anyway, next, Tisha and Marceau, they meet up for uh, coffee, and they're discussing this newly formed alliance between Kiki and Melody, and um, Marceau seems to think that they formed the um, alliance because... Um, Kiki is jealous of Tisha, but I don't get that from Kiki. I just think that Tisha is just jealous because her cousin is now friends with, you know, one of her enemies. But you have to take into consideration, Huntsville has a small elite population and Kiki is a part of that uh, population so um and i just think that it's really high schoolish that you know tisha's mad because her cousin is friends with her enemy so anyway let's see okay so you know that the guys are planning a trip to go to um atlanta because uh martel is going to be launching his um wine and Marceau also wants to go and look at some properties because he plans on opening up another restaurant called Black. This will be his second location. But see here is the thing. The last time that they uh, went to Atlanta, this is when, you know, all the drama began. There was like a big party. There were a lot of women there. Um, Martel's uh, side piece, which is now his child's mother, was there. And, you know, she came back to Huntsville, Alabama, and she insinuated that all the guys were up in Atlanta and that, you know, they all, you know, had linebackers and that they all had retired to uh, separate rooms in the evening. So Martel is now single. So he's playing this, you know, singles party in addition to going up for the wine tasting party so let's just and he has a bunch of ladies and stuff there and all the guys it's um martel marceau maurice and lewis all the guys are there and um there's a bunch of ladies there so we don't know you know what's going to become of that just by the sheer fact that the ladies are there i don't feel like the ladies should be there because the last time when they went on the trip which was years ago you know it put their marriages in shambles and you know now you're here and you know you have this temptation in front of you you know with the possibility of doing it again so anyway let's just hope that it's just not a wash rinse and repeat of their last male trip to Atlanta. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and give you um, that quick review on Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 4, Episode 12. If you like the review, make sure you hit that like button down below. Comment, as I said, subscribe, share my video. I'm Anna Harps. I gotta go. See ya.